Welcome back to Coors Field here in Denver. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Digging in to try it again. Miguel Rojas, the 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll flip on to first to record the out. Now batting, the first baseman, Neil. Walker. So striding forward now, Neil Walker. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he Here's tries right. to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. One out, nobody on. Left field. Dunk is over. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. The batter, the third baseman, Brian Anderson. So coming to the plate, Brian Anderson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. Bottom part of the zone and the slider is in there for a called strike. Textbook pitching performance so far in this one as we move into the later innings. First pitch strikes, how Zero. about over 90%? That's about as good as it gets. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the offense throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. The perfection continues. 21 straight retired. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. Rockies lead this one 12 to nothing. Now in the box, David Dahl. And if you remember, I'm sure he does. He hit a round tripper back in the fourth. Pitch coming, here it is. Softly hit to second. He's got it. Spin throw. And the spin throw gets him at first. A fine play there for the first out. And I thought this might happen based on how close that play was. They're looking at the replay in order to make a decision on challenging the out call on the field. Well, I think we're going to have to wait and see what the word is from the dugout. But here's another look at it. Wow. Tough to tell if he was out for certain from that angle. I can see why this was a really tough call for the umpire. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for that play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive answer on this play. So here's one play. last look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call. And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. Headsets coming off. Here comes the decision, and he is indeed out out as originally called so they lose the Upon challenge and the ability the to use any further challenges for the rest of the game into the box now Nolan Arenado 
It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Bases are empty, one man out. Into center field, line drive base head. Heading for second is Arenado. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Just goes to show you, if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway, you better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Now batting, the second baseman, Ryan. Two away McMahon. now in the Colorado seventh. And Ryan McMahon digs into bat next. First offering on its way. Hit hard toward the right side. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they can't do anything wrong at the plate. I'm no expert, but I would have to bet that the manager would love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, there's some happy men in that dugout. Settling in now, Ian Desmond, runner in scoring position with Sugan. Here's the first pitch to him. Fouled off. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Hey, he looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit. If he was able to keep his hands back a little bit, he might have been able to do some damage with that pitch. Waiting on it is Brinson, and that retires the side. Rockies forced to settle for one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Colorado's out in front, 13 to nothing. And that'll bring in Garrett Cooper. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's Marlins. changed out there the on the mound. Field. Well, I've been Garrett very impressed with how this Cooper. starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. The 0 1 pitch. Wave that missed, and he's behind 0 2. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. Struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. Now we'll look at our starter comparison for the two starting Number pitchers, 47. and these home fans have been treated to a real gem, as evidenced by that big oval-shaped number in the hit column on the right side of your screen. Standing in, number 47. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Towards second. Base hit, and the perfect game comes to an end here in the eighth. Uh, so these fans will not get to see history here after all as the no-hit bid ends right here with one out in the eighth. 
Matty V, so close, but yet so far. You get into the eighth inning, D-Row. You get that first out, and you're starting to think to yourself, this might be the night I finish it off. That's what I was going to ask you. Do you wait until this long, or does it start creeping in around the sixth inning? Man? It starts creeping in right around the sixth. You look up that, you see zeros on that scoreboard. You know you're doing something special. Yeah, from an offensive standpoint, you start letting it creep in right around that same time, and you're telling yourself and the boys, we have to find a way to get a knock. A ball and two strikes now. That's a real tough pitch to hit. That's as in the pitcher's jargon, we call that the Hall of Fame pitch, that slider down and in. Really, the only way you're going to be able to hit that pitch is if you're looking for it down and in. And still then, it's a really difficult pitch to hit. Count even at two and two to the Marlins catcher. Struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. One gone here in the eighth now as we it. check our line score Number to this one. point. And boy, you can see the story of the game right there in the hit column. Just one hit allowed through seven and a third. He has been awfully tough to solve. Striding into the box, number one. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. First offering on its way. Right through it here, and he's behind 0 and 1. I don't know if this is great deception by the pitcher, great arm action, or just bad offensive approach. They got to find a way to get something in the zone. Somebody's got to be willing to take a pitch, maybe move something the other way to kind of calibrate what the strike zone's going to be. 1 and 1, here it comes. Uh, offered it a low one there, but came up empty. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Two out with the man at first. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for Miami. Still looking up at a 13-0 score. So stepping in, number 58. Two doubles for him to this Four point in the game. The catcher, number 58. First pitch coming, here it is. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? You know, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else, but on that bump pitcher, right now, this has the makings of being a Kyle. long game. Free lead. Into the box now is the Colorado pitcher, Kyle Freeland. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned the chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Line toward the alley in left center, and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. The right fielder, number 19, Charlie Blackman. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Charlie Blackman hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, Maddie, it's always a little frustrating when you square one up. You hit a solid line drive like he did, and all you have to show for it is a jog back to the dugout. That can get in your head for a little while. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Hey, guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He hung that middle the of the bat. plate. The That's batter's eyes stop. lit up, and he was Trevor. able to put Goodwood on it. Story. Standing in now, Trevor Story. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Danger averted following the two-out double. More ahead from Denver right after this.
now at the plate, Lewis Brinson starting things for his side in the ninth the as they face the improbable the odds of trying to come back Lewis. in this one. Yeah, Brinson. not a lot of hope for them at this point. But these guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Well, that's Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. 1-1 one -one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. game going on right now being late on that fastball after the change he had to be sitting off speed right there struck him out struck him out again I should say his third punch out of the game the pitcher number 62 Jose Urena Martin Prado will get the call Pitching here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 14, Martin Prado. And it's fouled away. Oh and one here it comes. Another one fouled off and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Grounded down the third baseline. Throw on to first to be in time and the Marlins are now down to their final out of the game. Now batter. Good stop. Miguel Rojas. Digging in, Miguel Rojas. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. Delivery to him on the way. Fastball that gets the inside corner. Strike one. Now a swing and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. He brings it in and the Rockies get a complete game shutout from their starter as this ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him. But as a pitcher, I know he's going to wonder, like, what might have been? So close to a no-hitter, but it wasn't meant to be? That's baseball for you. 13-0, the convincing final score. The Rockies scored a lucky 13 in this one. Kyle Freeland is the winning pitcher of record. Caleb Smith allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.